Hey guys and girls, this is Fox Green and thanks for joining me. Today you're joining me at Eskrimouche Action Airsoft Park where we're going breaking the current standing world record of the longest airsoft shot at 1 joule, which is 81.1 meters. So as you can see in this map, this is the location where we were set up by this signpost and back here by this gate post was where we set up our shooting line and if I do a quick Google measure on this now, this isn't accurate, we'll confirm accuracy later with measuring tools but as you can see roughly from the signpost to the gatepost it is about 81.69 meters which is further than the world record now we'll be measuring that after the shot that we make later on so we'll be able to show you exactly now for the world record the current criteria is as follows it can take place either outside or indoors now naturally we've done it outside which is a bit tougher with wind but that's what the record was set with also the airsoft replica I use can be either a spring or an electric gun so long as it, you only take one shot at a time while attempting the record so no full automatic fire is allowed. The muzzle energy has to be under 0.95 joules so just under one joule and you'll see here in this record we're using a gun that's actually shooting at 0.085 of a joule which is a good bit less energy than what the record was actually set with. The criteria also says that you can shoot either uh, resting, lying down with a bench or standing up. You'll see in this test we actually do this standing up freehand so it's the hardest way to complete it. So you must also have perfect line of sight from your shooting line to the target which we do in this case. It must be recorded by a qualified surveyor. I'm a qualified civil engineer, so, so I'm on standby by the target and I will actually measure the distance once the shot is made from the target to the shooter with surveying equipment. So there is a good few people on either side witnessing this shot being made. It must be carried out on level ground, so a slope of 1 in 1000, which we definitely have in this shooting location. The BB does not have to puncture the target, the target has to be no bigger than 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. In this case, we're using a human sized torso, which is about 500 mil at its widest point, so it was well within the criteria. Any number of shots can be taken as long as the target is hit and beats the current standing record. Now, this is the bit that's quite interesting. It says here that you cannot use any aiming devices which will assist in aiming. Now, the current standing record was achieved with a scope and a bipod on a bench rest. As I said, we're going to be standing up, and in this case, it's going to be freehand and there's no scope, no iron sights or no red dot sights. So this is extremely tough what we're trying to achieve. So as I said, that's the first reference points on Google Maps, which is the signpost. And that's where the target is set up. Later on, when we go to chrono the gun after the shot, we'll show you the other reference point for the shooter. And as you can see, he's got no scope and he's standing so freehand. At 83 meters. The world record is 81.1. .1. So as you can see, one BB just dropped past there very close. That shows you how slow they're moving. So now I'll let the video play and you'll see how I walk him onto the target. You still need to go higher. You're landing three meters in front. You hit the cone, but it, it hit the it hit the ground first, so you need to go higher. That's left or right of it, sorry. That's a bit that was here, that was two meters behind target. Just off to the right hand side. Right beside it, height was good, it was just slightly left. Behind target. Right in front of me. Right. 
right of target. That's right of target. That hit the cone and then bounced up and hit the guy. Slightly right. Hit! So that's it, he did it, he broke the record. Here you can see the BB physically impact the target. Will you get my measuring wheel? I want to get this all in one take to show it's fucking, it actually happened. So now to confirm it, in the same take, I get the guys to run and get my surveying equipment just to measure it. Now I do know this isn't GPS equipment, so when we do attempt this for real with Guinness World Records present, we will be using a total station or GPS equipment. However, this is perfectly accurate for this type of test. Okay, just reset that there. Good man. We'll put it exactly there in line with the target. I zero the measuring wheel. Okay, and let's show. start. Right in line. Guys, just get the chronograph there so we can just prove what the gun's shooting at. Okay, so at the van, we are at 47 meters. So there's a line on the ground here where the guys are shooting from. As you can see, he's positioned behind the truck this at the gate at the shooting the line, well. which you'll see now in a second. Show us the line you're shooting from. This is all in one take now, all this video, so we prove yeah. beyond. There's the, the line scratched out. And that's the rudimentary line we so made. So we are at... 82. 82, and it's kind of between point 0.1 and... It's like 82 and... and not point 0.5. Yeah, not point 0.5. 5 centimeters. Okay, let's chrono it now just to shoot. And again, look, no scope or nothing on the gun, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Took a lot, took a good... So there's a gatepost, which is the second reference point on Google Maps. Three twos. Three, three twos. twos. Yeah. That's what he's using. Yeah, three twos. And the only three twos ahead were boy ovens. <laughs> or not boy but tracers. <laughs> oh, Christ <laughs> almighty. It was an expensive few shots. Nice one. No, that's a... You hit the bottom of the cone a few times. Like, yeah. if it was a guy... He was in, in who, the, You're in hitting the his league. legs yeah, all the... Yeah. Uh, like, but then you finally got a direct body hit. Right. Okay. Oh, what you did, yeah, I was watching your fingers. 0.943. Take another yeah. shot. We'll do, we'll do three, sure. So the shots are coming in around 0.85 of a jewel. <laughs> 0.859. I think you've fucking absolutely smashed the record. 0.847. So 0.847 of a jewel. So as you can see, the Let's gun is well under the one jewel limit, and we still broke the record. Measure. 0.846 so you just beat the record by a full meter <laughs> with with with, way, five, with less power. less power so less, fair play yeah power. buddy <laughs> <laughs> nice now we, we, uh, we'll call guinness world records and we'll make it official in a few days <laughs> all right so what the hell is in this gun say you just beat the world record uh, that's a da vinci 303 mil barrel uh Tridos, tdc the new uh, Stalker SR Hot, the 60, 50 degree. Um, that's a Maple Leaf CNC trigger box, a Teflon cylinder, Lalex M100 spring cut, cut down. <laughs> uh, Very good. That's, yeah, buddy. That's all that's it takes. It. Yeah. So as this was just a bit of fun and done on the spur of the moment, we know that it's not going to count as an official Guinness World Record until we actually contact Guinness World Records and get them to witness it. Also, we'll be able to do this at shooting at a larger target than this, which will be 600 by 600. And I will, for that attempt, be measuring it with GPS surveying equipment. So everything will be official. 
Um, so now that we know that we can beat this record, we will be making an official attempt. So stay tuned to my channel, Fox Green, to find out when we do that and to see what we can actually achieve. I'm Fox Green. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. If you want any of the upgrades that are in this gun, please check the video description below. I'll see you later.